Are you thinking about joining the army and have a college degree? In this video, I'm going to discuss two career options you have as a college graduate. Stay tuned. Before we get started, if you're watching this video and you have a college degree and, you have, and you're and you getting ready to go into the army, down in the comments, put officer if you're going as an officer and put enlisted if you're going enlisted. I would really like to know what it is you guys are gonna do. All right, let's get to it. The first path is the enlisted route. So when you enlist in the army and I'm looking on my trusty phone because I can't remember all this stuff. When you enlist in the army, already having a degree, you will automatically come in as an E4 and that's a special, okay? So that makes your starting base pay like around $2,200 a month. Eh, not too shabby. The benefit of going enlisted over officer is you have more control over your career. You get to pick your job, you get, you'll be doing in the army um, and a degree will potentially help you promote faster because you start out already as an E4 and the next rank is an E5. So you start out as an E4 and in two years you can be up for two to three years you can be up for your E5 when the rest of your peers that start from E1 they have to make up all that ground to even catch you to get to you. So a lot of times it puts you ahead of your peers if you have a degree and you come enlisted. To me, I've had I've been able to choose kind of where I wanted to go and kind of what I wanted to do. And that, that's definitely been a benefit because I definitely wouldn't want to be stuck doing something that I don't want to do because being in the army is hard enough, but being in the army and also doing something you don't want to or you don't like doing, that's even worse. So I like that fact. The downside is lower pay. I don't have to tell you that. Um, my other circumstances could yield you more than $2,200 a month. Like if you have kids or if you're married, you'll be your base pay will be a little bit more. And plus you'll get things like BAH, which we'll discuss probably in a later video or later on in this video and uh, BAS, which is for food. So that helps your income go up. But if you're a single soldier, it's just the, the pay is low. I'm just going to be at it. It's actually a lot of times it's below the national average for a person with a degree. So that's the downside. And to me, that's a big downside. You've been to college, you've worked hard to obtain that degree. Why not get paid for it? But again, Sometimes money ain't everything. It's about whatever your goals are for going into the military. So I know for me, if I had a four-year degree, I would have went in as officer because money, I would have wanted to be compensated for my accomplishment of getting my college degree. So that's just me. <clears throat> just something to keep in mind. The second path is officer. Okay, going this route, you'll still go to basic training, just like everybody else. But the difference is you'll be paid as an E5, okay? So your starting pay will be $2,394. That's your starting pay because you'll be an E5 while you're in training. Once basic training is over and everybody goes off the AIT, you'll go on to OCS. So wherever you go to basic training it, you will end up at Fort Benning, Georgia, because that's where OCS is, and you'll go through basic training again, officer style, basically. So your AIT is OCS. Once you complete OCS, you will obtain the rank of 01, which is second lieutenant, butter bar and your base salary jumps from $23.94 all the way to, you ready for it? $31.89. That's a pretty sizable bump, guys. The money is definitely totally different on the officer side than it is on the enlisted side, a lot. The benefit for going this route is obviously the pay, okay? There's essentially a thousand plus dollar difference in your base pay. And as an officer, you don't live in the barracks. So you automatically get BAH, BAS. So that's gonna even bump it up even more. So you'll start out probably around it depends on where you go because you can get anywhere from a thousand to twenty five hundred dollars in BAH based on your location depending on where you're stationed so your pay is going to bump up a lot it's a big difference in pay and there's a, a, a side note it's not a side note but it's actually a bonus if you have enlisted time and say like for me so say I did my first contract and I was like okay I want to go officer and there's some programs you can go to called green and gold blah 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 I think I might be getting ahead of myself but if you if you go to OCS and you have enlisted time once you complete OCS, you'll start as an 01-E, which means you're, you're an officer with enlisted time and you get paid more money. I think it's like three or $400 more a month for having enlisted time. It may be more than that. I didn't really look it up. The downside is you have less control over your career. See, the way the officers work, um, when you're OCS, they give you a list. Actually, they let you make a dream list of like three to five branches. So as an officer, you're more on the executive level. So you're like, over like companies or over, over you just it's like it's a different I'm trying to think you're you're on a track to be the CEO basically when you're an officer uh, when you're enlisted you're you'll just always be manager you'll supervise you will never be CEO but you'll manage small elements 
Um, and then as you become an officer, you manage bigger elements and you manage the managers, basically. So they have different branches. So me as 25 Victor, we are in the Signal Corps branch. Uh, public Affairs, the Public Affairs branch. Then you have the Armor, which is any other Armor MOSs. They have a branch. You have the Finance branch. You have the uh, Infantry branch. Whatever, you have so many different branches. So you'll be assigned to a branch. So you'll have to learn the entirety of every MOS in that branch. Not be an ex not be an expert as far as shooting or as far as doing the job, but you would have to know all the admin stuff that goes along with being in all those MOSs that fit under that particular branch. So that's the downside to me because you don't get to choose. At the end of the day, they're gonna place you at the needs of the army and where they need the officers at, that's where you're gonna go. I know a girl who I just worked with, she just went through OCS and she got armor. So she's in the armor branch, so she's in armor school right now. So she's gonna be an armor officer. So I think down the line, once you've been in a while, you can change, but I don't know how it all works. Not all. Like I was saying before, I was, the bonus was if you're currently enlisted and you meet the requirements, you can apply for the Green and Gold program. The Green and Gold is an active duty option. It's a two-year program that provides eligible active duty enlisted soldiers an opportunity to complete a VA degree or a two-year graduate degree, like a master's, or even, I don't know if it's a doctor, I don't know if a doctor is a part of that, but why would you want to do that if you can get a doctor out? Whatever. And you can earn a commission as an army officer. So there's other programs if you're currently enlisted now and or you start out enlisted and later you want to become an officer. The Green and Gold program is out there if you qualify. So again, guys, let's recap really quick. You got the enlisted route. The pros are you more control over your career. The cons are the pay. The pay is terrible, period. Unless you get all the way up there to the top and it still doesn't compare to the top level of officers at your same level as an enlisted. Officer side, the con, the, the pros are the pay. The pay is great. You're getting compensated for being a college graduate. Um, the cons is you don't have as much control over your career in the beginning, but I think as time go along, you can probably choose what you want to do. So if I had to choose, it would definitely be officer. And again, guys, down in the comments, let me know if you're going to choose officer or if you're going to choose enlisted. Let me know if you have a degree and you're going to go in the army. Let me know if you're gonna, which one you're gonna choose down in the comments. If this is your first time on my channel, first of all, welcome. Subscribe, like, and make sure you hit the bell notification icon so you can be notified whenever I post new content. Again, if there's somebody that you think can benefit from this video, please share it with them. Again, my name is Ricky Bowden, and thanks for watching.